Hey there, this is Jason, the founder and moderator of the best forum in the world, only because of the users, uh, freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum, as well as the website freecpapadvice.com. Let's, let's pull it up so you know exactly what we're talking about. Hey, there it is. So now why would I bring up my website? Well, because if you'll notice here, there's a nice little donate button and uh, well, it's pretty lonely. So if any of these videos help you out, if you could kick down like two or three bucks, it would be so greatly appreciated. Let's get on with this. Have a patient here or a person on my forum asking about, let's get down to it. Um, so here they have, okay. This video is about central sleep apnea and like a polysomnogram. Like how do you know it's real when someone's looking at their sleepy head report? So kindly they have attached some sleepy head printouts. Um, and basically what they're asking here is a season by da, da, da. they have six central apneas that they saw. Um, central apneas were not even recorded or mentioned in their, in their report that they got from their doctor. And then, um, what their concern was that is they're seeing these central apneas that have been tagged by sleepyhead. And hopefully this is all showing in there. I think it is. So you can see here, CA, it's showing it as a central apnea. Uh, this just happens to be one of them. Now, what I said was, hey, if you see this flow rate like this, and then a big spike in front of it, decrease, and then a central apnea, and then you see normal breathing, this is, like always, a sigh, a yawn, or something. Now we have no EEG to, to, to um, clarify this, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Oh, oh wait, no you don't, because I actually have an example. So let's first take a look at all these. So you see the big spike, and then flat. Looks like a central apnea, but it's not. Um, this one actually looks pretty much, oh, it is the same one. That's why it looks the same. Look at that, oh, look at that. Okay, so, f what the hell? So they have another one, same thing, spike, central apnea. Then you have this one, spike, central apnea. Okay, those are not real central sleep apneas because as you can see here, these are real central sleep apneas. We can look at the um, sleep weight. You can see that they're asleep here. They're at stage one here, then they move into stage two by this big K complex right here. But if I zoom back out or even, um, even farther out, you can see that what's happening is there are no spikes and they're, they kind of slowly transition to it. There is no giant spike here after normal sleep. Kind of gets bigger than nothing. So it gets bigger slowly goes down nothing i mean th these are central apneas um when you see that big spike in front of it that is most assuredly not a central apnea um whoops so let's compare this to one of them that they did have this one right here now this one This one you can see that there is no large spike in front of it. I mean, yeah, there's a little, it slowly goes up, but it goes down. Now this one is a true central apnea in my opinion. Um, if you compare this section here with, what the hell, what the hell? Oh, wrong one, I see. If you compare this one here with this, you can see it kind of manifests in the same way. So that's the difference. That's how you tell. That's my layman's way of telling. Uh, now, anytime you see like jiggy jaggy stuff, um, that's not going to be a real central. Let me see if I can try to find some examples of that. This person had a lot of sleep, which is good, but makes it difficult. Ah, here's some excellent examples. So, okay, you can see right in here. Um, okay, we know that all of this is wake. Can we all agree on that? It's wake. This person is looking around. Um, that is not sleep. This is all thick. You can see the eyes moving. They're blinking right here. Um, but look at this wake, 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 right? All thick, 
blinking here, looking around, blinking. It's all thick and nasty. If we zoom back out, what does that look like? Well, that looks a lot like nothing. Let me try to clean it up a little bit. Um, you see how this right in here I would call not normal breasts because we've kind of seen what the normal breasts look like. These are normal breasts, even though they're awake. But a lot of times you'll get these central apneas or what look like central apneas on your sleepyhead report. Like, let's go back to one of the, the fakies. Um, they, these are, I, I do believe they're sleeping during this time, but like I said, that's a sigh. Sometimes people will post their sleepy head report and it will be very jagged like this. And you can just tell that they're awake and moving around. And then, you know, sometimes when you move around when you're awake and you just stop breathing or you're concentrating and you just happen to stop breathing, it's kind of what you're seeing right there. So, you know, we have the luxury of knowing that this all is wake, but quite honestly, here's what our, uh, our machines see, our, um, This is what sleepyhead sees. It just sees that. So, I mean, we know that it's, but you wouldn't have these wake here with your machine, but you'd be looking at this thinking, oh my God, my sleep is so messed up. I don't breathe at all. Well, you know, you might be awake. And so if you see these big, large spikes, you can almost always be sure that it's not real. If you see smoother transitions this is slightly a smoother transition you can tell that there's more normalized uh, airflow in there probably real so you know with sleepyhead it's super difficult to tell what's real and not because you don't have the uh, benefit of eeg but thankfully with this we do have the benefit of eeg Hopefully that helps. I know um, Sleepyhead, Sleepyhead is an awesome tool, but um, it can be very confusing if you don't have EEG with it. It can also be a little confusing if you're not 100% sure what, um, what the waveform should look like. Um, see, anytime you see stuff like jagged, weird looking stuff like all this, you know that there's it's wake. And so pretty much you can throw out a lot of the stuff that's surrounding it. Um, and you see here, look at the breathing, how it's more stabilized. It's much more normal versus here where it's all crap. But see, this looks like a central apnea, right? Right in that area. But it's not because there's crap around it. We also have EEG. Hope that, hopefully this helps your understanding of what a real central looks like on sleepyhead versus what a fake one looks like on sleepyhead. Um, you can usually pull out a ton of them and it would bring your AHI score for what they call clear airways much farther down. This seems to be a big stressor with sleepyhead. So hopefully this helps. Again, if it really, really helps, you know what you can do. It'll make you feel better. I'll tell you what you can do. Right there, buddy boy. Right there. <laughs> Just kidding. This is Jason. Hopefully this helped. Thanks. Bye.